Hello and welcome Guardians, it's Arrow Knight. Uh, very excited to make this video today. Um, we are going to talk about Gambit. The embargo has lifted and it's very exciting times. Um, I'm able to talk about my hands-on with Gambit and my play session that I had at the uh, Bungie Destiny Community Summit back in April. If you guys remember, I went to the summit and uh, repped the community, repped the Derp fam, and uh, very exciting stuff. We're going to talk about that today. Uh, just a uh, heads up, Destiny Reset Podcast, episode 149 went live today with Cyborg Lulu, special guest Lulu and myself. We talk about all this stuff. We talk about weapon slot changes. We talk about bows. I'm going to talk about that a little bit in this video as well. We talk about the annual pass, all kinds of stuff. Went live today, so go check that out as well. Um, Lulu was also at the Bungie uh, Summit, so uh, we got to break down um, our play sessions, our different thoughts, and Cyborg got to kind of interview us uh, on uh, Gambit as well as other things. So in this video today, we're going to talk about Gambit, of course. We're going to talk about weapon slot changes. We're going to talk about the Bowland Beyond. That's what I'm coining it as my probably my new favorite weapon i'm almost certain um we did get to play with the bow so i will be talking about that um before we jump into everything though just wanted to give you a heads up keep an eye out on my twitter account at arrow knight with a zero um and on this channel um on my youtube channel here arrow knight with a zero as well um i will be doing a yeti caster uh blue yeti caster giveaway very soon basically with that you get the compass um uh, well, you can see it right here. The Compass Boom Arm. Um, you get the uh, Blue Yeti Microphone. And I believe also the Shock Mount um, is part of it. I'll tell you what. Let's just um, take a look here real quick. And let's Google the Yeti Caster. And I'm going to make sure you get three components with this. Um, Blue Yeti Caster. Here it is. Let's take a look. Um, I will tell you guys 100% here what you get. I know you get the boom arm, you get the Yeti. Um, I say Yeti, sorry, I'm using a spark. But you get a Yeti, the boom arm, and then you also get the Radius 3 custom shock mount for the Yeti. So again, I'm using the spark. Excellent mic, check it out um, uh, if you can. Very cool mic. But the Yeti, I used up until about two months ago. Love the Yeti. So anyways, keep an eye out. I'm going to be giving that away on my YouTube channel here very soon. Keep an eye out on my Twitter and uh, my YouTube channel, and you will see how you will have a chance at getting the Yeti Caster Blue. Fantastic products. I'm sure you've heard us talk about them on the podcast. Moving on, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Gambit. I got to play it. Very exciting. Basically... I'm going to go ahead and log in here too. You can see my beautiful Titan there. Guys, I started leveling a Hunter. I missed that snappiness, that verticality in the PvP crucibles. So I uh, decided to start leveling a Hunter this week. Um, grinding the faction rallies as well. What faction did you pledge? I went with the uh, Graviton Dead Orbit. I usually go Dead, or dead Orbit anyway, so that worked out for me. All right, enough random chatter. I'm going to goof around here in the game. Gambit. Basically... If you don't know a lot about Gambit yet, I'm sure you do. It is a PvE VP game mode. That's what they're calling it. That's what they're coining it as. And it is a true innovation, innovative game mode that's coming to Destiny. It's like nothing we've seen before. Um, just to sum it up for you guys real quick, there's two teams of four. You spawn into a map. It is matchmaking. Lars did confirm that um, on the social medias. Um, you go in. You spawn in alternate areas of the map, and basically you, uh, your team of four is responsible for killing AI, shooting the aliens, and collecting moats. You take those moats, you drop them in your bank, and when you uh, drop so many in your bank, um, you progress through the round. It is round-based. You spawn enemies on the opposing team's um, area, their section of the map, and it uh, you can also lock the bank um, so that you're basically just creating more chaos for them as you're playing. 
Um, the really cool aspect of it is um, you want to try to collect 5, 10, or 15 moats. Those spawn different levels of enemies on the opposing team's area. Um, the cool, really cool aspect of it is, and where the VP comes into play, is basically you periodically, depending on, I believe, how many moats you deposit, and then um, I'll talk about it in a minute when you get to the primeval, the boss, but uh, periodically you open a portal, and that portal allows one of your teammates to invade the other um, uh, team's area, if you will, and basically just wreak havoc, slow them down, kill them, do whatever you can do to slow them down and create chaos. Um, Bungie is coining, uh, Lars said this when he introduced it, the, the mode to us at the summit. Basically, it's fight, collect, bank, and invade. Those are the four main pillars of the game mode. Um, man, and we we were so, so pumped to play this. We did not. No, nobody at the summit wanted to stop playing this game mode. Um, but uh, so, yeah, you, you can go over to the opposing team's uh, area and you can um, basically go over there for a limited amount of time. You can see. Hello, Guardian. <laughs> you can see all of them and they cannot see you. So very, very cool stuff. Um, we got to the point where we would save a super for the invading guardian because you can't see them they surprise you um, they're only over there for a limited amount of time but it is long enough to to create a lot of chaos another really cool thing i didn't realize when i was playing was that i could um well we'll talk about the bow in a minute but you could see how many moats um with all the opposing players highlighted, you could see how many moats each one of them had. So you could target the player with the most moats, take them out, and they lose all their moats. So that, you know, of course, slows them down in their progress of beating you for that round. You can also, any moats that are on the ground, you can slide in and um, deny those moats. Very cool stuff. So we played, once we figured out the game mode, we realized, okay, there's strategy. Obviously, there's strategy to this. Like, how can we um, be more efficient? How can we win these rounds faster? How can we win? So we very quickly realized, okay, this is what's really cool, where it just inter it's going to intertwine the community, the PvE players and the PvP, PvP players. Um, basically, we're like, okay, you're the collector. You shoot things, you're the collector, you take them to the bank. And, of course, we would, you know gather our own here and there but we had our primary um you know roles and then i'm like wait a second i have hardly invaded at all like i'm a crucible guardian like i spent most of my time in the crucible i'm invading like that's my thing that's what i'm gonna do so i got to the point where i knew when we could you know open one of these portals i would immediately jump in and i would go wreak havoc you know to the opposing team and it's so fun. It's so fun to see them chase you. You hide. They don't know where you're at. Like, it's, it was such a blast, such a cool thing. And, you know, it's, uh, I'm super excited for you guys to try this out. You know, it's, it's going to be, it's at E3 this week. It's going to be at Guardian Con. Anybody going to Guardian Con? Very cool. Bungie's going to be there showing it off. Um, that's exciting. But this, this game mode, you know, they've confirmed it's going to be its own node in the director. It's going to be its own thing. And um, I'm super excited. Like, for everything that we've seen with Forsaken, like, this this being a part of it is very exciting. You know, it's 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 a very cool game mode. Um, I, don't, I don't know what else to say about it other than it, it was just, it was so fun. It was different. Um, I'm excited to see, like, you know, if gear comes with it or, you know, what other motivations or incentives we'll have to play it. But... The fun factor is there, period. No no doubt about it. Um, okay, let's talk about the bow. You know, um, the bow, wow, Bowland Beyond. That's I'm coining that. That's my new thing. Like, the bow was fantastic. I didn't know at the time, this was an exotic bow we got to use, but I didn't know at the time that, um, you know, they've announced in the, the Vidoc that there'll be short, medium, and long-range bows. So I don't know what this one was. I'm not certain, but, um, you know, it was... It was a lot of fun to use. I, that's all I used when I would invade the other team. I would go straight over, get my bow. I would pull it all the way back. You can just hold it. And, and man, it just it combines two of my favorite weapons ever in, in video games, the No Land Beyond 
and the torque bow from Gears of War. So I would just pull that thing back. I would predict where they were going. I'd wait for them. I'd tag them right in the dome and, and game over. Drop the moats. They lose them. So much fun. I cannot wait for you guys to try the bow out. You know, it's it's. I feel like it's going to be interesting to see how they the bows cater to PvP and PVE. You know, I, I feel like they're gonna they're gonna be different types of bows, and, and I hope you know it's it's for many different types of guardians um, to use. They are exactly what I like and what I want to see. So I, I cannot wait to test these bows out and get into the crucible get forsaken in our hands and just jump in and, and see what they're all about i i immediately picked up on them they're my type of weapon and i can't wait for you guys to try it out um what else okay we got to test weapon slot changes you'd think i'd have a lot to say about this but with everything that was going on at the summit and and the little play time that we got here and there because we spent a lot of you know 80% of the time, if not more, talking to the devs in different, you know, breakout sessions and stuff. But we did get to test the weapon slot changes while we were testing some other stuff. And I will say it was cool. Like, it, it, I can't wait to, again, get it in our hands at home where we can really test it out and everybody's playing on it. But they're isolated with that small fire team. Like, uh, it... It's going to be cool. I can't wait. You know, they even said at the summit, you know, you can run shoddy, shoddy, shoddy if you want. There'll be, you know, high risk, high reward to that. Um, you know, there'll be different things you'll have to consider. But I definitely had shoddy in secondary. I had sniper in secondary. I can't remember what slot my bow was in, um, if it was secondary, energy, or heavy. But uh, very cool stuff. Everybody was excited about that. We were just as shocked as you were uh, when they, you know, you know, announced it in the vidoc but uh, or the live stream but uh yeah we were just as shocked but we're excited like this is you know they said the same things they said you want to play d2 you can play d2 if you want to play d1 you can play d1 so it'll be interesting to see how it all pans out how the ammo ammo economy pans out with it and um basically overall how the crucible feels when it lands but this is the shakeup i think um a lot of people are gonna want or like or think we needed in the crucible so you know we'll see what happens when it drops um i'm i'm, I'm excited about it as well so anyways long story short gambit's awesome if you want to hear even longer discussion about it go check out destiny reset episode 149 went live today cyborg lulu and myself we talk about it um, we talk about Gambit, we talk about weapon slot changes, we talk about the bow, we talk about new supers, we talk about the annual pass, we talk about all kinds of stuff. So go check that out. Gambit, I feel like there's so much more I could say about it, but it's it's a lot of fun. Can't wait for you guys to check it out. Um, hopefully you get to play it before it comes out, but if not, you're gonna be it's gonna be worth the wait. I can't remember if I mentioned, but it is round based and the way that you win is you uh spawn a prime evil by getting so many motes. I believe it's 75 and uh basically you want to kill your prime evil before the other team does. And when that little phase is going on, there's way more invading opportunities. Um uh, for the other team to come in or you to go into the other team. So it, it just becomes chaotic. It's fun. I can't wait to you know for the dirt fam pve and pvp players to mesh it's it feels really cool to like for me i'm like okay my role is the invader and it felt cool to have that responsibility and that's where i need to you know shine for us to win this round and ultimately this game of gambit so very cool stuff um I remember specifically about the bow we were playing with it and it just immediately clicked for me and uh i would invade i mean i was getting two three four kills and you know you're only over there for you know a limited period of time but uh it, it just again the weapon just clicked for me and i remember john wisniewski came over to me and he and he said you know like man you're you're, sh you're pretty good with that bow i'm like it's just i don't know it's clicking for me it's my kind of weapon and he's like you should hear them over there that every time you invade they're saying who is this guardian that's invading with the bow you know so that that was really cool because it, it's my kind of weapon it caters to my kind of play style and and for anybody out there that thinks this weapon is for them it probably is you're gonna pick it up quick um it's like i had been using it for weeks so uh I, i've just 
it sounds like I'm as excited about the bows as I am Gambit as a whole, but uh, I'm just excited all around. I can't wait for you guys to check it out. If you have any questions at all about Gambit, weapon slot changes, the bow, anything, ask below in the comments or tweet me uh, on Twitter at Aeronites with a zero. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. I want to talk about all this stuff. I'm sure there's stuff I didn't cover in this video. Um, Cyborg asked us a lot of questions on the podcast, so go check it out. Um, but again, if you feel like I didn't answer something or I may have some more information that I just didn't say in this video because I feel like that is the case right now, um, just drop a comment below and I'll be more than happy to respond. Uh, but anyways, I really appreciate you guys checking out the video. Um, super pumped. Forsaken's looking exciting. We got a new teaser trailer tonight. Um, Cade? What? What's happened to Cade? The Queen's brother? Anyways, so much going on. So much to take in. Um, one more announcement. E Sorry, not E3. Guardian Con. I will not be making it to Guardian Con this year um, due to that surprise bungee trip and visit. I had to finagle some vacation days, and uh, we actually have a, a family vacation um, a couple days after Guardian Con. So I'm excited for that family vacation, but I will not be making it to Guardian Con this year. My hope is to be there next year to see you guys and, um, you know, pending any surprise destiny related bungee trips and vacation, you know, uh, coordination. My plan is to be there next year. So I hope to FaceTime you guys. Cyborg will be there. Um, maybe we can get a little FaceTime session going on and I can chat with you guys, but uh, I'll miss you, but I'll see you soon. Thanks again, guys. If you enjoyed the video, a like is very much appreciated. And I really, really appreciate any uh, support of any of my content. Um, I do have a podcast feed. Any video like this where I actually discuss a topic, I throw that out on my podcast feed as well. You can find it on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. It's just called Aeronite's Feed. Um, and then, of course, you know, I post uh, mini gameplay videos and live comms and stuff on the channel here. So, I appreciate all the support. Again, be on the lookout for that Yeti Caster giveaway. And um, look forward to chatting with you guys soon. Don't forget to drop any questions down below. You can find all my information and the podcast information down below. And until next time, take care, Guardians.